What is going on guys? It's your boy Rish coming back with another video. And I'm gonna be showing you guys what happens when you leave your car abandoned, left for a couple months kind of with a car cover on, which you gotta be weary of which car covers you buy because you need something that's like breathable. So this looks a lot better than it did before because we cleaned it once already, but powdery fuzz man i'm pretty sure that is mold from like the moisture and it sitting with the car cover like this was this was pretty bad y'all pretty bad check this out that's what we're dealing with right now i'm gonna have to open up the doors get it well ventilated what we got what we got we finally bought some more arsenal got a new shot back you know hard to pray the truth Spent a couple of doll hairs, got the warranty, so now I'm good for two years. So if I ever does shit to bed, I get a new one. If it doesn't, still get a new one. Some warm water and vinegar, half and half right there. And we got the vacuum, let it air out, and then I'm gonna get a rag and start wiping away. Let it sit for 10-ish, 20 minutes, and then we gotta vacuum up again. Give it a leather conditioner. Hopefully, hopefully this stops, because look, it's even starting on this seatbelt again. All right, first time I turned it on, got a little bit of uh, protection, I guess. I don't know where the f that came from, why that's there. Where this water is coming from, why, no clue. So yeah, now I just gotta fucking deal with all this shit. Thankfully, I have the shop back now. <laughs> Makes it so much better. Sure you guys this ain't good either no. all that water coming out of that i'm just gonna cut out some of this section and then like shot back and vinegar and stuff so yeah rustiness moisture actually not good bro i don't know what the fuck to but I'll keep. So you almost don't want this whole fing seat. Just spraying it down with 101 water and white vinegar, damp rag, spraying a little bit, moving around on there, letting it sit for couple minutes let it air dry and then i come in with the conditioner to recondition it because white vinegar is acidic so especially if it's sitting in the sun it's gonna like dry it out burn it crack it start making it flake you know bad things so you want to recondition it after using something like alcohol or white vinegar and then i'm also cleaning it around but i discovered more fun and potentially why i am dealing with this because of moisture and shit like that and the car has been sitting for a while but I'll see that and we've been having the hurricanes a lot of rain so another thing to figure out where the f this water is coming from car wasn't covered fully it was but then the car cover came off like mid hurricane so it also probably let in some water from same thing with that the hood latch area and those grommets which seems quite ideal or some seals or whatever openness from here maybe even like sunroof drains so like that is clogged up or something i just can't even open it up because there's no engine in there i don't have the battery given i could you know connect the terminals but i don't feel like doing that right now yeah cleaning this up and needing to reassess because i'm gonna have to pull this carpet out unfortunately unfortunately i've done it before so it's already kind of like pre-prepped to take it out and most things are already out except the two front seats and then literally i pull the carpet i already done it before I had redid the sound editing, which is unfortunate because water's sitting on it, but I'm gonna let it air dry and do all that stuff. And I have the shop back now. Wet and dry, so that's perfect. And there's no foam underneath this because I already removed that due to it being horrific, horrific. Yeah, let me wipe this down, recondition these seats and move on to the front seat so I get that done. And then I'm gonna let things 
air dry a little bit, and then um, I don't know, probably go to the gym because I, I I've been really thinking about the gym. I was supposed to go earlier, but then I kind of got into this and it spiraled into more bullshit. And we're still struggling to get gas around here. I'm gonna vacuum what I can with this. off some air to get a little extra residue out now i'm just going over with a damp microfiber that has white vinegar on it obviously and then i'm just gonna spray it because i want it to get in some of these crevices and little holes to kind of soak but not soak because i'm also going to be air drying it not trying to soak it but trying to soak it a little bit so it saturates it and kind of attacks it instead of me just wiping it and then kind of doesn't really do anything I think. I wiped this seat down like three times, three different times with vinegar, sprayed it, letting it you know air dry do its thing and then I'm gonna condition it with my leather conditioner, cleaner and conditioner. So yeah I really hope this solves my issue and then i also could just go to walmart get the damp rip put it in here obviously i need to take the carpet out and get all the fucking water underneath there which is probably gonna be a task for today because i can't just let it prolong something i wasn't supposed to be doing i'm supposed to be doing other things focus on other things but obviously i can't leave this shit alone i can't let that be sitting like that nothing like that yeah it's it's my issue right about now we got all the seats cleaned up like two three four layers of uh, white vinegar, wiped down, let it set, vacuum, blew with air, vacuum, vinegar, condition. All this is soaked. So, gotta figure out where the water leaking is coming from now. I don't know if now is the windshield seal or something. I mean, this car has been sitting on. I haven't done anything. It's been basically abandoned. I haven't touched it in a little bit other than fixing what I did up there, straining it out, and then repainting some of the areas. Can't have that, y'all. Can't have this shit keep going on. I don't want to spend two, three hours needing to clean the car because of this bullshit, so. And it was worse. Like I said, y'all, time for that gym break. We gymming together for a couple months consistently. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back again. It's like 6 p.m. About to take out the seats, do all that to get this carpet out right quick. Found the perfect time to use this ratchet wrench set that Laura got me. Perfect time because I was needing something. Because I got this obviously, but I'm like, oh man, can't get in there too, too good. My hand, it'd be nice to have this thing. Help me out here. Shout out to Laro, man. I've been needing this. It just feels so good. This tool set looks really nice. Get into tight spaces. I don't have to use my finger. That felt so much easier now that I've been in the gym more consistently. Moisture. All right, I'll have to do things a little bit differently for the passenger seat because I don't have enough space on that side. All right, we got the seat belt off. Now we can actually take this thing out. Here we are, y'all. Like 9 p.m. at night. And I'm gonna have to do this vacuuming. Get a little bit of this water out and then pull this carpet out. Thankfully, I got this thing now. Hell yeah. I got this little attachment adapter bought from uh, Walmart. And we'll check it out. All right, we're back, a new day. Uh, 
gotta make sure I blow things out and clean this up properly. Reason some of this tough stuff. This stuff works really, really well. Just spraying it and just trying to clean everything, clean the surface, and then I'm just gonna double it down with like some vinegar, like I was doing with everything else, just in case because all the water situation, you know. I'm just wiping everything down. So yeah, this is just what I'm gonna do all around. Uh, make sure it's all good and go from there. So I had to take this guy off because there's like moisture under there and gunk as you guys can see where the fuck is that water coming from really is it is it from in here bro but it doesn't make sense because it looks all nice and sealed like it's got everything proper to be honest so i don't know exactly where that would be coming from so this is what i had to do Just disgusting man cut out some more section and now i gotta clean up underneath there get dirt whatever really don't know where that's exactly coming from but it's pretty gross stuff and we come over here on this side that's not fun more than likely i'm gonna cut out a little bit from here bunch of hoopla over here pressure washing this already did one side this is why you need a pressure wash I never take a day off, work around the clock, my engineer getting paid off, rock like Ace up, like the weed and take off. 